guys, PlayStation Mommy here, aka Shantae Patel, and we have another unboxing. Today is actually the launch of the Nintendo Switch, and back when I did my pre-order on January 13th, I didn't know what game I wanted to pick up for the launch because none of them really stuck out to me. But as time progressed, I realized that everybody was giving Zelda great reviews and I knew I had to pick it up. But by the time I decided to pick it up, it was already too late and they sold out at Amazon. I was trying to get it at the Amazon price. So I waited and waited and they didn't come back in stock. And then they finally did this morning and I had to wait until I believe the 7th to get it if I wanted to do that. And I'm not a parent patient person. So I didn't want to wait. And I basically told PlayStation Poppy to pick it up since he didn't go to work today. And he went to Walmart and was actually able to find me a collector's edition. Now you know how much I love collector's editions. So I was super excited. I've never played a Zelda, so I wasn't too sure if I wanted to pick it up, but I figured why not? I mean, yellow. So now we're here doing an unboxing. So, this is the box. We've got some stuff going on. More photos. I mean, honestly, I know that this is Link. And I know he's not Zelda. And I know Zelda's a princess. And I know the Triforce or something. And that's about it thought I know about Zelda. So I'm super excited. I'm hoping that with the store coming up on the Nintendo Switch, they'll add more games, like the retro type games on the Wii U. And then I can backtrack and play some of those original Zelda games. Let's try not to hurt anybody or anything with this. Okay, I got it. What is my box is dent again? And if you saw my horizon video, there is a dent on it too. And I don't know if I'm putting these dents because this wasn't even shipped. This came from like the store. What is going on? Okay, so what do we have here? I don't even know how to pull this out. Let me go this way. Like, okay, there we go. This is interesting. Oh, okay. So let's see, let's see. Let's talk about how one of the determining factors, honestly, was this case. Ooh, ah, who designs these boxes? Put this to the side. I mean, I don't know why I expected this to be actually smaller considering the switch side like obviously it had to fit in but this is actually a really neat box or a case There's a box we got this simple which I have no idea what that means and we got this going on and let me pull out this original box because <laughs> actually tells me what this is. Okay, so Nintendo Switch Sheikah Slate Carrying Case. So, did not order any accessories for my Switch yet. So, I'm actually really excited. Oh, this is super cool. Okay, so check this out. It has a little Velcro type thing to put your Switch in apparently. I'm assuming it would go on this side. So you can put it nice and tight, keep it nice and safe, have this protection. And I'm assuming you could put little games in here. So let's see, three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve games. And it has um, earbud and accessories patch. Well, let's talk about how they labeled that because, I mean, what else would you put there? 
So I am low-key feeling this. I probably wouldn't buy it on its own because I have no idea what Sheika, Sheika is. But at least my switch will be nice and safe in here. I mean, it's nice and hard. You can hear it knocking. Okay, let's put that to the side for now because let's get to this. So I appreciate how this is all nicely organized. Here we have the game. Nice and sealed. There's a bit of a glare. But it looks like the standard edition. It's not like they have a collector's edition. Or, or I mean, obviously they have a collector's edition because I'm opening it. They don't have a steel book or any fun different artwork on this. But this is still really neat. This glare is killing me though. And then. I don't know what this is, some sort of enemy you want to fight. And in here, you can see some nice scenery. You can see Link and oh, the game. Do I want to taste the game? Okay, let's put this to the side. I've heard. Okay, let's just get to that later. Let's get to this. This is actually the Relic of Hyrule Calamity Ganon Tapestry and Weather Worn Map. I probably butchered that because I don't know how to read apparently. Now. Ooh, this feels nice. Like, I would low key almost want to say that it feels like leather, but I don't know what a leather map would feel like. And. Don't really understand it. I guess I have to play the game and find out. But it feels really nice and like good quality and like the pictures on here, well, they like look messed up, but they're supposed to look messed up. Like it's part of the effect. I might have to frame this. I need to play the game, figure out what it is in the frame and so I'm not just putting stuff up and someone asks me, I'll be like, I don't know. Came with the collector's edition. Okay, put this back in. I'll just put it down here. Let's jump into this. So this is actually the soundtrack to the game. It has a little cover. And it has Link back here. Let's open this. I kind of want to use my knife, but I'm kind of scared that I'll mess it up. So I'm just going to incredible hulk it. Ooh, has some ground break this. You can't see these anymore. Oh, um, has a chick, maybe Zelda, I believe. That's who I would assume. I don't know who else is on this game. And then this, you can see these little tribal looking things. And it comes with, finally, this is officially called the Shika Eye Collectors of Coin. What's really neat about this is actually that it's like in a plastic thing. I don't even know if you can pull it out. It's like, low-key looks sealed because there's a Nintendo sticker on it not see that at all but let me watch this is like a collector's item and it just loses its worth once I open this if I can open this. maybe if I twist it I don't know it has a Z on it for Zelda I'm assuming it has the sword through it and then it has the eye that matches this eye, this Sheikah eye type thing. Okay, now, what I really want to try, I've been thinking about it all day, is Nintendo, for I'm assuming legal reasons, don't want 
small children and pets to be eating these little cartridges because they are really small. So what they did is they actually coated it or flavored it. I don't know what exactly is the science behind it, but they purposely made these taste horrible so that the second a small child or a pet puts it in their mouth, they want to spit it out. So let's taste it. I'm super scared. I've heard horrible, horrible things. Okay. Oh my God, that's disgusting. <laughs> It's like instant. I don't even. Oh, it's still there. I feel like it took a second, but in that second, it went zero to like 100. Like my tongue in that area still like feels like it's still there and then like I'm trying to get rid of it I feel like it's just kind of moving around in my mouth I don't like it guys notes to self do not eat the cartridges they taste disgusting go eat something else go get a bowl of cereal go get butterfingers a snickers go get real food not just candy but that's it for this unboxing i hope you enjoyed it definitely check out the test taste test thing you should totally lick your cartridge and write in my comments what you thought about it and don't forget to like and subscribe and like always i hope you enjoyed this video thanks guys